and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Plank. It's a deck where it's going to be a control deck featuring Gangplank and Swain. And this is a donation deck entitled Oh Captain, My Captain, because we're going to be playing the captains. Swain being the captain of Leviathan, Gangplank being the captain of the Dreadway, the ship that he stole. And of course, we got Captain Farron, because, you know, we need more captains. So Captain Farron is in here too, combining our captains together. Um, plus, we got some other people on the ship, because we got to have other people to man it, you know, right? Like we got our petty officer, we got our deckhands. Um, even a sentry sounds like that's somebody that could be on a ship. Um, but I think I, I'm going to like this deck. So basically, you know, like we are a control deck. I, I There's a lot of smaller units run around right now, a lot of aggro decks. And so Make It Rain's looking pretty good. And I could I could definitely see Death Lotus being awesome also. And I, I think this could be pretty sweet. I think Death Lotus is an underrated card that not many people are playing. Um, but we're going to be combining Death Lotus and Make It Rain together to be some cheap sweepers um, that are going to be leveling up Swain super fast for sure. And then whenever we, we can mix them in with powder kegs, right? Like with uh, Deckhand and Petty Officer, like the powder kegs, um, you know, make these things even better. Now, also, another good thing about this, so like, let's say we have a powder keg. Like, what happens with powder kegs? They're vulnerable, right? So, like, the opponent always challenges the powder kegs, and they'll challenge them with, like, their Twisted Fade or, you know, things like that. Like, things that they, cards they don't normally want to get into combat, they'll just use those to challenge the powder keg and then attack with other stuff. And that sounds like that is a great recipe for Death Lotus, right? Like, they, they challenge with their card that they normally wouldn't want to be in combat, and then, boom, you have Death Lotus. Um... You know, taking it down and also the other things that they have attacking. So I think Death Lotus plus um, Powder Keg is going to be pretty sweet. Um, yeah, we do have five, eight, you know, five, eight plus drops <laughs> with all of these things. It would be nice if like one of them cost seven, but that's not our life. They do all cost eight, um, but should be pretty sweet. Like, you know, like we're going to hopefully stay alive long enough to get to these. And these really big, powerful top end cards hopefully will turn the games around. Of course, Brayfin being some card advantage for us as well. That's our deck. Let's let's play it. Uh, let's let's go over to the slaughter docks. That seems like where um, captains should be. Let's get this car Noxus card back. We'll have our minion for our captains. Um, I should have done this before. Uh, get you and you and we'll go Timo and you and Gangplank which I guess all right where's our deck Swain Plank nope do we have Swain also yeah I guess this is Swain Okay, we're gonna go play five games over in ranked. And we're gonna see how our deck does. Furious Poro Bear. Going deep. Uh, certainly keeping Culling Strike. I think I'm gonna mulligan Sentry, and I'm gonna just keep the champions. Oh no, I want that Sentry back now. But Culling Strike should be perfect for Maokai. We'll take another Culling Strike. Get rid of the 3-2. Could get rid of that. I'll let him keep it, though. Danger paid. Why do they think trading the 4-1 and the 2-2 is a good idea? I don't know. But I'll let them do it. And they didn't even want to challenge my powder keg. Oh, I like seeing those uh, 
Dead Bloom Wanderers go. Third Dead Bloom Wanderer, they're out of those. So good chance they won't have anything to block this Swain with now. I don't really know what they would do with Leave them nothing. Yeah, to block that. Oh, that didn't that didn't pop the powder keg. That's a little surprising, right? Huh, I guess not. I guess. I thought that was gonna pop the powder keg and do four to them. A little, little surprising. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! Good, no vengeance. I will break them. You're doing quite a bit of damage to them. Darn. I was hoping they didn't have that card because I couldn't actually stop that. Unfortunately. Oh, come on. Why didn't I have you before? Let's just... I mean, this mana's gonna be wasted anyway. I guess I just play this thing. Maybe we can play that thing. All right, so my plan is this turn Death's Hand something and then Riptide Rex. Is that a reasonable plan? What's up, I'm another. It's Super Saturday. It is Super Saturday. Thank you so much. Well, we'll have a fantastic day. Hope everybody else has a fantastic day as well. Oh, that's so loud. So loud. Okay. Um. Down to seven. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, the, that wreck sound is so loud.
Okay. So we're going to deal eight to this thing. We'll do two to all battling enemies. The, pro the problem is this Terror of the Tide, and then if they have it, I mean, I guess. So then this would mean I take, yeah, so that's fine. We can do this, okay. Uh, uh, block. No, you don't need a block because I don't need a block because of Death Lotus. The problem, of course, is if they have Atrocity. But um, if they go, like, they kind of have to have two Atrocities, right? Like, if they Atrocity this thing, then we'll Ravenous block it. Oh, jeez. Um. Okay, well now if they that that basically counts as an atrocity. Please don't have atrocity now. Darn. Even if I cast both Mega Rains, it, it doesn't kill. You know, like we can't we can't kill the Nautilus, and also I cannot kill the um, the nine eight either. Even if like they would both hit the nine eight, it would only be taking six damage. So I couldn't kill that thing either. Couldn't look for luck for that way. Yeah, but we were taking 13 damage from the Atrocity with the Nautilus, and then we were taking 9 damage from the Unblocked 9-8. And that is more than our life total. Uh, let's see. Calling Strike good against Ezreal. And honestly, it's kind of good against the 1-3 the Eye of the Dragon anyway. Don't really want Ravenous Flock or Deckhand, to be honest. Just have the one parlay. It's it's for the aggro matchup. Definitely not for this matchup. That's unfortunate drawing that, but that's how it goes. Do I want to play Gangplank right now on turn 5 where they would have 5 mana Thermogenic Beam be able to easily answer Gangplank? Would that be... Would that be recommended? Probably not. Within my grasp. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Okay, well, I didn't really want Make It Rain or Death Lotus, so I guess that was, those are some good tosses. I mean, they're on the bottom of our deck anyway. Um, 
but yeah, we won't have Mega Rain or Death Lotus to worry about. My plan is to use the Death Sand here and basically trade Death Sand for one of their removal spells because they'll use a removal spell on my O1. So we'll trade it for one of their removal spells plus deal two damage to this Jump Lump and one to them. So yeah, we get to trade one for one with that plus that. And if, if they don't, if they want me just to kill the Jump Lump, that's also fine. Petty officer is such a micromanager. So yeah, you know, like trade these. And still deal two to that and one to them. So now at seven mana. I go gangplank if they want to. If they want to kill Gangplank with Thermogenic Beam, they got to spend 7 mana on the Thermogenic Beam. The more likely thing is... And I wish I had Maker right now. The more likely thing is a stun card. I wasn't hoping for that stun card. No, I just don't, don't know if I really want to. Oh man, Death Lotus, you're just a little late. I would have loved to have you last turn. That would have been perfect last turn, killing both those other attackers, dealing two to the Yone. Could go Sentry, Death's Hand, Flock, kill this. But then I'm kind of out of stuff. I'd then go straight to attacks and attack for eight. Or I hold on to these till after they deal double damage. I think I hold on to them. A zero mana card. I guess they just don't have auto pass turned on. Or thermogenic beam. I guess they have, could have thermogenic beam for a zero mana card. Double all damage dealt by your skills, spells, and allies. So allies will be attacking for double. Yeah, 
I still have answers to karma, like this whole time, you know, it's always good to have an answer to karma. So that's always good. If they want to go that route. How many Yones do their decks usually play? Do people usually play in that deck? Yep, there's the Thermogenic Beam. Alright, we'll double you up four and two. No. Problem is a ten mana you can have karma and deny. That's not something we want to see. That's my first time to use the gang the gangplank emote. No, I don't I don't have a I don't believe I have a command for the schedule. I should probably. But no, this is this is my normal Saturday stream. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays I stream later. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday I stream earlier. Ezreal's leveled up as well. Which isn't great. Now that's command. Alright, where's our eight plus drops? We've only found one of them so far. We've drawn zero swains and only one of our eight plus drops. I need more of those. That's what we want to draw. Draw one of those eight cards so far today. So far, this game. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. You'll fight or you'll swim. <laughs> Tough Poro. So of course, I have the calling strike for. strike for Ezreal. Don't have a, a great answer for a second karma. Ah. 
All right, my champions are leveled up as well. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. That's the second karma. I will be shocked if they don't have any health potions, but that would be amazing if they do not have any health potions. I am going to be... You don't... Like, I shouldn't... You don't calling strike right away, because if you calling strike, then they will respond with all the burn spells that will kill me. You, like, the mystic shots get excited, stuff like that. I want to respond to those... To the burn spells with the calling strike to try to kill the Ezreal so they don't get the extra damage with those... Body must thrive for the mind to be free. That is unfortunate. I can't let these happen. I mean, that's eight damage, and you know that means that I'm dead. So we're likely dead anyway. I just have to die. Okay, so that, that's gonna kill us. So really the problem with that game was we did not draw our heavy hitters, our things to close out the game. Our eight most expensive cards, we drew one of them with the Dreadway. And that was it. Um, so yeah, just couldn't, couldn't quite close out the game. The, the biggest problem there. I drew like that death lotus that I drew was the was one turn too late like also that death lotus if I would have drawn that a previous like just the card before um, we would have been able to get a lot of value with that kept a lot of things honestly probably would have won that if just our death lotus was one card before but where it was it was useless it was the card before would have Dealt two to their 6-6, six, six, been able to use our Ravenous Flock to finish off the 6-6. Six, six. It all would have been a lot better. Hey, Krabby! That's my resting face. Packed him good! They didn't let me get too much Mega Rain value. That was a good Noxion Fervor. All hands on deck. 
<laughs> the Sinister Poro. So fearsome. Look at how fearsome that little guy is. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Is he wearing like a bed sheet cut out of eyes like the you know like the child's um ghost costume? Yeah, this is looking like this is look like a, um, an elusive deck splashing Teemo instead of splashing a Freljord Omen Hawk. That's what it's looking like we're playing against. Um, I don't want to I didn't want to attack in the Dreadway deckhand to the Greenglade duo because I was going to be killing the Greenglade duo with Make It Rain very easily. So I didn't want to trade those the previous turn. Everyone here. Let's just see who we kill. No. That was almost the worst make it rain we could have. Would have been a little worse killing the two one instead of killing the Teemo. Maybe not. Maybe maybe that was just the worst because the two one at least trades with these, or the Teemo doesn't. Maybe that was just the very worst that we could possibly have. Do y'all think it would have been better to stun the 2 1, keep I'll that from blocking, and make and force the life blade to block? Maybe. I'm planning on culling striking the life blade. Um, to kill it anyway. Obviously, I don't want to see a suit up. A suit up would be a problem. Alright, well, we get to just stun it to start with, since they played that. Um, we'll still try to Culling Strike it, but at least we get to stun so that... Because, like, if I go just Culling Strike here, they, they play Suit Up, then it's their priority, then they attack. Um, so we'll do the Sentry first. I feel pretty good about this resolving. Oh, guess not. Okay, well. That's some damage. That didn't work out. Looking for this. But we got Riptide. Ionia. <laughs> They've probably been looking at these and been like, man, I don't want to eat Will of Ionia, any of these. Or maybe they have like Mystic Shots and stuff like that. Who knows? I sense fear. Yeah, I'm not sure with the stun the 2-1 or stun the 2-2 two -two mm. lifesteal. You know, I was planning on killing that lifesteal before it got to do damage, but they just ended up having a couple of answers. 
to it. Riptide Rex. I think we're going to be one and two after this. That's what I'm thinking. So this is them taking four damage, going to zero. Cut. Yes, basically no matter what was going to be lethal, right? Like, that was, that was like the least amount of damage we could do was four, no matter how you split up that seven. Um, like, the most we could do is six if they all went to the same thing. The least we could do was four if they were just like one, 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 like that. Alright, Swain Plank on the board. I like our deck. I think our decks, our decks felt pretty good. Oh man, we have Captain Farron too. Think if we would have drawn Captain Farron against that Karma Ezreal opponent that we're both just not doing very much. Man, think if we had a Captain Farron and got those Decimates. That would have been sweet. That was the real Captain we needed. Deep. It's not the most fun matchup. A you know, kind of slow control deck against deep. Facing a lot of deep today. Is this the fourth time we've played deep already? Maybe. We are facing a lot of deep today. Yeah, I know, your your one fours are good. You can brag about it some more. Congratulations. Lotus could be good. They attack him with both. Death Lotus kill him. These aisles will be Maybe. Nah. Oh, I rarely forget. I never forget. Do I really respect you, Captain? So the. Powder Keg is going to allow me to kill Maokai. They still have Abyssal Eye. Sorry. Hmm. Not really a 
good attack, is it? We get two damage on, like, the obviously they block with the 2 1. This ephemeral 2 1, so they take three, and I get two damage on Gangplank. I guess we'd get we'd get a level up trigger for Gangplank. A level up, like one of those. Um, I don't know, that doesn't sound spectacular. I think I'm gonna do not do that. The blessed isles live through me. If they do play something and get the 2-1, yeah, basically just give me priority again. We'll kill the 2-1, do one to them, stun the 3-3 three three so they don't get to attack with the 3-3 three three and draw a card. So sad. So save Noxion Guillotine. Not a bad death lotus. Could go with the guillotine this turn and kill Maokai and then after combat kill Abyssal Eye. Uh, kind of saving the guillotine, of course, for Nautilus. But how am I getting damage on Nautilus?
20. I have one parlay in my deck. My one one mana card. That is not what we need to draw on turn 9. Would have loved to have a ship here. A Leviathan or a Dreadway. Or a Captain Farron. Or a Swain. Um... Yeah, gonna be tough to beat Nautilus. I don't really see how I do beat Nautilus, that is. Blood and guts, golden glory. We know they just have more, more sea monsters in hand because of Jaw Hunters. This is the part of the game where the sea monsters win. They're just too big. Matchup seems to be a tough matchup. I, you know, like we're 0-2 against Deep. 1-1 one, one, one besides that. And I feel like our loss against Karma Ezreal was pretty unlucky with us. Only, you know, us going through over 60% of the deck and only seeing one of the of our eight heavy hitters at the top end. So 12 for 12.5% 12 of those and 60% of the deck. Ash, Braum, Sejuani. Why are we playing Braum in Ash, Sejuani? I guess they just have three Ash, two Sejuani, and they're just playing one Braum to just have in the deck as well. So I want Make It Rain. Obviously, we're going to have Culling Strike for Braum. we got the Sentry Ravenous Flock combo. We'll get rid of Make It Rain, I guess. Okay, it's back. And that's good for or make it rain. If I cast it, nah. If I cast it, it would keep, you know, like that's that's a Sejuani. That was the card I wanted Braum to one of them to have for a Braum trigger. The only reason why I consider doing this is because of Sejuani. I want to have three mana because they play whatever thing to block. I make it rain, kill the Omen Hawk, deal the damage there, and then we can Ravenous Flock, hopefully, and kill Ash, and then Swain hits them. All this, hopefully, hopefully, no Elixir of Iron. Show them the way. Work, please, please. No, elixir fire, and you're always so busted. They should thank you. Alright, well, we could still make it rain. Come on in. Keepers. 
gonna make my life more difficult. Oh, what am I doing that? They're just gonna challenge. They haven't attacked yet. I'm dumb. Challenge. I was thinking like we take that powder keg and then this powder keg. I, I should just save the two mana and just go to the next turn. But I can't have no burn. Yeah, I, I could play both of these this turn and still have the two mana for a mega rain. Nothing a little steel can soon. Could have had two powder kegs. Well, they're definitely, like, they're saving harsh winds, right? Gotta be saving harsh winds. Um. I do have a Swain Ravenous block, so yeah, I think I still attack. You dare slack on my ship with this yeah, I think I still attack. Yeah, this is a fun deck, Digi Digimons. Our... Our deep matchup's a little rough. They're coming! Hi! We ran into a couple of deep opponents that had great stuff all the time. And both of them had multiple of the 1-4s that were really good. This one had a Vengeance when they needed it. You know, just all that kind of stuff. They didn't use Today we fight as one. Didn't use the harsh winds or anything like that. Best run while you can. Last turn. What are they gonna do against harsh winds? I mean, I guess they leave them nothing. They harsh winds these two and then block the Swain. Hey, Storm. Good evening.
All right, got a Harsh Winds out of their hand. Ooh, that's good. Get another spell. Winter, take you. That's good. Go I'll take that. That's good. Oh, no. That's quite unfortunate. Yeah, reckoning is pretty great. Reckoning is pretty great. I cast the Swain Champion spell and the Gangplank Champion spell for really not much value. I completely regret casting both of those because you know now I don't have the Swain or the Gangplank. So completely regret that. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen very much of the Who and around right now. I don't really have too much of an opinion on it because I haven't really seen it around. Um, I can I can certainly see it doing just fine. I can certainly see they who endured doing just fine. I can't really stop Takehart. They've already played two Brahms, though. I don't think they have any more Brahms, but, you know, they have Elixir of Iron or something like that. Can't really stop those. on drawing deckhands and petty officers. They're really good against Reckoning. They're so good against Reckoning. The War Mother will unite us all. This is great. Our banner will lead the way. to blame. Just no patience for how like those games were going. I just had no patience and I tried casting the the Swain and Gangplank champion spells. Um and I didn't get very much value out of them and I really should not have, especially that Gangplank one. Yeah, you know, like the Gangplank one I was thinking, okay, well we'll kill the three two, stun the other thing, then we'll be able to get into attacks, but it you know, they had a 50-50 chance of drawing the one mana 5-5, five, five, and they drew the one mana 5-5. Five, five. And then I, you know, obviously I couldn't get in. Um, but yeah, Harsh Winds is still good. You know, Harsh Winds, like, I couldn't attack because of that. Um, that card was great. And obviously Reckoning just destroyed me quite a bit. 
Um, yep. All right, well, still, this is a pretty fun deck to play if you like different kind of control decks. It's not necessarily one of the best. The deep matchup's kind of tough. Um, you know, we went one and two besides the deep matchup. I think our deck was better than, like, the record shows, you know, like, one and four. We really didn't play against many small unit decks where that's... There are a lot of small unit decks around these days. We didn't get paired against them, but I think that we would be awesome against them with all these Death Lotuses and Maker Reigns and things like that. Um, I, I do think that that could be somewhere where you could really shine of um, being able to take out small units, level up a Swain real fast, them not being able to deal with Swain. Like, I think that this this could... Um, uh, this could do well against the small unit decks, but we, we really face the big unit decks. You know, we face Deep twice, face the Reckoning deck, um like those kind of stuff that's that's uh more difficult to deal with with the noxus removal all right but that's it here for swain plank those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and let me know how it goes if you try this deck out you know like if you're playing against a lot of aggro go ahead and give this deck a try you know if you like uh you know these kind of decks like this could be pretty fun let me know how it goes all right, but anyway, thank you so much for um, watching, and I will see you for the next video.